Hello, precious people, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen Gerard, and oh, here he is, Yogi. Say hello. Look at our face. Look at our little face. I love it so much. He's always right on cue, isn't he? My little clout chasing dog. <laughs> This channel is monetized for charity, which means by watching the videos, watching the ads, sharing the videos, leaving a little like or a little comment, you're supporting two fantastic charities in my area. The first is the Domestic Violence Program at the Child and Family Center, and the other is Rescues on the Runway. And today is a big day for Rescues on the Runway. We have a big fundraiser tonight. I am in charge of credit cards, so um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm volunteering. And she wanted me to walk, um, it's a fashion show, and she wanted me to walk with Yogi on the runway. But, um, you know, with being there all day and volunteering and everything, uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting him in a cage or anything like that. So he's going to stay here. Huh. So I'm going to stay here and get spoiled rotten even more. <laughs> he's got his head all the way under my makeup table right now, <laughs> like a little dork. Um, but, yes, I'm super excited, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some footage um, to make a video for you guys of the dogs and talking to Miss Marty and just giving you guys an idea of uh, what a great thing she does down there at uh, at this rescue. I mean, she's got so many animals down there. I think at any given time, she's got at least 40 dogs plus her own. And uh, oh gosh, I was there the other day. She had probably, she probably had that many cats, uh, 30, 40 cats. I know she's got 200 chickens because every once in a while she brings me eggs. And uh, Oh, she's got goats, she's got horses, she, I, you name it, you name it. And and this lady just works tirelessly for these little animals. And I know she hasn't slept in about a week getting ready for um, for this event, but um, I'm just super excited. So if it is your first time here on my channel, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel down below. And if you don't mind, ring the bell so that you'll know anytime Yogi and I upload a video. So today I wanted to go through the stuff that I got from the Sephora Rouge sale. Um, Sephora Rouge is usually the time when I will pick up things that I've been kind of considering, but not 100% sure that I, you know, that I really want. And so when it's a good deal, it's like, well, it's a good deal. Okay. And then I also like to uh, stock up on my favorites. So uh, I thought that I would start with some of the favorites that I'm stocking up on. And one of them is the tan Lux drops. Um, I love these. They're the best self tanner that I've found. And I, I, I know I promised you guys that I would make a video with this. And I, I promise that I will. I have to have somebody to film me because it's very hard to film um, your body. <laughs> doing it yourself with a tripod or whatever so um if I could rope Julia in I'll I'll try to get this one filmed for you pretty soon and then I decided that I was going to try something new from Tanlux as well and you can see that I've been using this um they're called the gradual and this is more like a daily lotion that you would put on so where the Tanlux um works kind of overnight uh this one you kind of put on and it does its thing uh, in lieu of lotion. So I'm still getting used to these. Uh, I haven't quite got it down yet to where it's not patchy or streaky or anything. So I'm, I'm working with that one, but I, I have high hopes since the drops are so good. Um, one of my other favorites that I stocked up on is the Duo Clear Glue. I like this one. Um, normally I'll use the tube and brush it on, but I do like this one with the brush inside for putting it in my bag um, to travel with or whatever, because it's just one less piece to travel with. It seems like that little brush that I use always seems to disappear <laughs> when um, whenever I get to my destination. So I'm like, wait, how am I gonna get this? How am I gonna get this glue on nice and neat? So then I got a couple of my favorite brushes and you know how it is. You have a favorite brush and it just kind of disappears. Like, Hey, where did all of those go? So this is the um, pro brow number 20 and it's got a nice stiff brow brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. I love this brush. I've been using this brush and this brush alone on my brows for probably 10 years. So <laughs> you guys know I'm a creature of habit. So I had to pick up a couple more of these just to be on the safe side. Um, I also picked up the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. I have not used this before, but I did get their um, smoothing cream in BoxyCharm or FabFitFun, I'm not sure which, and, and I really liked it. So I thought that I would try this because sometimes it is hard to get the other um, spray leave-ins that I get, that I use, and those will be in one of my hair series videos that's, um, that's coming up. I've already filmed it. 
I really just need to post it for you guys. So, um, so those were kind of the, oh, wait, there is one more in the favorites. So this is the Hangover RX uh, Replenishing Face Primer. Um, I like to travel with this because flying tends to uh, dehydrate my skin. And so I like to have a, um, a primer to use under my BB Plus and foundation. So um, this one's a good one and it is very hydrating and, and I love that. So um, I have to say I ordered one, two, three, four, five, six. I ordered seven eyeshadow palettes. Unfortunately, I realized when I was putting all this together to, um, to film this video that Sephora forgot to send me one of them, so I'm going to have to email them. But I did order the Mercury Retrogate, Retrograde Palette from Huda Beauty. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with it when I saw it in the store, but I've seen people using it and seen some really pretty looks. The colors are nice, and I, and I have been happy with the Huda palettes in the past, so I was like, well, it's 20% off, what the heck. And uh, true to form with the name Mer Mercury Retrograde, I'm going to I'm gonna force myself to say that 10 times fast after I finish this video. Uh, it uh, it didn't show up in my package. So that's what Mer Mercury Retrograde does, right? Is it just screws with our existence. And if that's what's been going on the last couple of weeks, then um, then it makes a lot of sense. Cause you guys know, I have not had the best couple of weeks um, pers personally. Um, actually business, uh, business wise, um, professionally, it's actually been a great, a great couple of weeks, but um, just personally dealing with um, dealing with some things, dealing with our legal system that is um, can be very trying, and uh, dealing with someone who isn't in their right um, in their right mind can be very difficult and very trying. So I've been extremely emotional, and maybe that's um, the Mercury retrograde doing its thing. I don't know, but I'm here to tell you that you know, just when you think things are really are really dark something good happens and you know somebody who i care about a lot um stepped up to look after me this last week and i just can't even thank this person enough like they're just so much of a hero in uh, in my eyes and for whatever reason they're the only person that i really uh would have felt safe with in these circumstances and uh and i and i just want to say thank you to that person so um anyways i did purchase this palette the pat mcgrath it's one of the mini quads and i don't know i can't tell which one it is i'll have to put uh, i'll have to put the name up on the screen because they they put the type over the colors and my old eyes just can't see that so i did actually attempt to use the purple in the look that i have on and I wasn't impressed. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. Um, I don't know how expensive this was, but it was expensive. Even with 20% off, I think it was at least $50, maybe a little more. And, uh, I ended up going to my blue blood palette and using the purple out of that one because I just couldn't get, um, enough payoff from this. I tried everything. So I'm a little disappointed, but I will try the other shades. To be honest, I do have a number of the Pat McGrath palettes and I never reach for any of them. So I'm a little disappointed in this one so far, but hopefully, hopefully that will, uh, turn around. I also got the new, uh, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Um, actually did, uh, I did use this tan in the look today and I attempted to use this black here, but I didn't really love what it was doing. And so I ended up, uh, busting out ocean ice from <laughs> So, but I have, I do have high hopes for this palette. Um, it doesn't, it, it doesn't completely wow me because so many of the shades look the same. There's so many neutrals, um, but I am excited about this shade right here. Um, I am excited by this red shade right here. And I'm excited by this one right here. And I, 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 I probably could get this army green here to grow on me too. So, um, so I am a little excited to try this one. I didn't buy it up till now. I some of my Natasha Denona palettes are my favorites. I do love the Sunset palette and the Gold palette a lot. Um, it's just I'm, I, I really am feeling more color these days, and so the neutrals with lots of golds is just kind of not not been my speed. But what the heck? Like I said, twenty percent off. They got me. <laughs> you ever want to sell me anything? Give me a discount, girl. Because. <laughs> it'll work and then I got the um the Vizzy Art Grand Pro Volume 3 this is me this is me and 
it, this palette I think was $175 if I'm not mistaken before the discount. So I just couldn't justify, you know, spending that kind of money on shades that I already have in my collection. I do love the layout of this one. Um, you know, all of us, I think, suffer from the teensiest, winciest little bit of OCD, but, uh, and, and the way that these are arranged just speaks to that part of my soul, but uh, the colors themselves are not particularly, uh, you know, new or groundbreaking. However, with that said, I do love the Viseart matte formula. Um, their neutral mattes is one of my favorite, one of my favorite palettes. Uh, so I'm excited. And I did use, uh, what color did I use in here? I used, uh, wow, I didn't even leave a mark in it. <laughs> I used this nice green up under my lash line today. And I'm sorry, this one right here. And I really, I think it came out really good. So excited about that. Um, I broke down and got the, sorry, I need a tool to get it open with. I broke down and got the two new um, mini Norvina palettes. I looked at the Huda mini palettes, but honestly, boring the house, girl. The mini nudes, yeah, no thank you. I've got 300 neutral eyeshadow palettes that I don't use, so I can I could, I had no problem passing on those, but how was I going to pass on this? Because this really is pretty. It's a fun color story. Um, there are a couple of somewhat uh, different shades from what I have in my collection. I would say that these three, I don't have an exact duplicate for in my collection. So, um, so I'm excited. And I love mini palettes because, you know, when I travel and I end up taking 15, 16, 20 palettes with me, at least if they're little, it's not... <laughs> It's not so bad. So <clears throat> I'm excited about that. Um, this one, look at how cute. Okay, and then this one here, again, same kind of thing. Um, this nice pale yellow is, is really different. This kind of cantaloupe color is different. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one and this will be great for travel. So. I think the palettes that I have that would have the closest matches to those colors are Giant. And since I usually travel with Blue Blood and Jawbreaker, I have a really hard time leaving those at home. Uh, I try not to take too many other big palettes. I'll take the Stacey Marie palette or the Mitchell palette or, you know, some other, I'll take one other large one usually. But yeah, a girl's got to conserve space, you know? And then I'm actually like upset with myself that I did not get this palette sooner. This is the Carly Bible um, collab with ABH. I just wanna say for the record that I love Carly. She was one of the first YouTube girls we worked with. Um, we've been working with her since 2011 and she had 300 subscribers when we first started working with her. And I just have to say, she is such a nice person. She's so sharp. She's a great little businesswoman. But you know what? She cares about people. And over the years, um, even with the massive amount of success that she's had, it's never gone to her head. She's still a very sweet um, individual. And if I text her, I haven't talked to her in a year, she will text me back. And, you know, I appreciate that kind of um, kindness and loyalty in people. And, and I think she did a fantastic job on this palette. Uh, the colors are beautiful. They're colorful, but still wearable. And I'm excited to do something fun with this. So maybe we'll make a video um, with this one in honor of little Miss Carly Bell. Because I love her so much. <clears throat> okay. Um, actually, this should, this one should have been in the favorites category. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist from... Uh, Oh shoot, why can't I remember the name of the company now? Why, Glow Recipe, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew it was Glow something. Oh girl, when you get old, this is what you have to look forward to. So this one here is a very fine mist. Um, sometimes I use this uh, at night or in the morning before or after my mystified. It has a very nice um, faint watermelon smell. And I feel like it does help to hydrate when my skin feels dehydrated. So very excited about that. Um, this was one that I actually found. I wanted to try a new primer and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this one. So it is the Stellar Brilliant Primer 
kind of a small tube. I must have gotten the small tube because I didn't know if I would like it. And honestly, I have so many primers already that I've only used once that I thought, you know what, let me uh, put that money into something else. So I did finally break down. Good Lord, what are they? Why are they doing these boxes like this? And get the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, according to the chart that they had on Sephora.com, the warm number four would be the um, the right shade for me. Honestly, you guys, I've been living and dying by the Rimmel. I have not picked up another foundation, but once since I started using this, and that's probably been three or four months. I think that is a record. It still looks great on me. I still love it. Um, I think I'm on my second or third bottle already. And uh, yeah, but I am going to give this a try because I have heard that it's quite good. And, uh, you know, honestly, I have bought so many things from Charlotte Tilbury. I have always really wanted to love everything I've gotten, but I've been really underwhelmed by the things that I've got. And not even because they're so pricey, but just because they just haven't been for me. You know, I'm not saying that they're bad products, but... They just haven't been things that, that I would like. And that's disappointing because I really have wanted to like them. I really wanted to love the uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter, but that really didn't do anything for me either. And this is something that I also have. I think I have even higher hopes for this because this is the Brightening Youth Glow Anti-Aging Color Correcting Glow Booster. Hello. I need every bit of that for sure. I need youth. I need brightening. I need anti-aging. I need color correcting. And I need glow. So... Sounds like a win to me. Checks all my boxes. I'm very, very, very excited to try this one. And the last thing I got was this uh, Lancome palette. And I, this was just calling my name. It just looks so pretty. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try this. Cream to powder, mix and match eyes, cheeks, and lips. Very, 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 very nice. I could see um, using maybe like four of these as highlights. This could be really cool on the cheeks. And I would definitely use that um, on my eyes or in the inner corner. So yeah, I don't own a lot from Lancome. I don't know why. I've always liked their products. I've used their products since I was a teenager. So, um, so I saw this, it really was kind of speaking to me and I'm very, very, very excited to, to give it a try. Um, I have some other new stuff that didn't come that didn't come from the Sephora sale, but uh, I think I'll save some of that for a skincare video that I'm working on. So I am working on a skincare video for you guys. Just trying to, I'm testing some new things and um, wanting to gather up like my old favorites and new favorites and kind of make it into um, make it into a video maybe for morning, for night, and then maybe we can do one for treatments and stuff because. But, uh, but yeah, that's my, that's my Sephora Rouge haul. I am <laughs> not proud. Um, I had said, you know what? I, I really don't need anything. I'm not going to buy anything. 20%. Who cares? Let's just say I have the shoes. So, <laughs> but I thank you guys for being along in the video. And if you made it this far, please go ahead and share the video. Why not? Maybe somebody new will join our join our little group. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love on um, on the last video that I put up, uh, the Frozen collection. And I really, I really liked making that. It was fun. So, so I'm excited. Um, and I am going to be sending the box to uh, one of you who asked for it for your nine year old granddaughter. I just, I can't resist. I'd love to keep it. It's super cute. It looks great. Um, but kids come first. So <laughs> with that said, I am off to volunteer with the dogs and I just hope that everybody has an awesome day wherever you are. Yogi and I love you so much and we'll be seeing you very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.